equation of the circle and we have a diameter that's connecting two points together. So I'm going to call upon three different facts from the background. One is going to be the equation of a generalized circle x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. I'm going to call upon midpoint formula which is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 and I'm going to call upon distance formula which is square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and we'll see where all these come together to make this problem work so first of all with the diameter the diameter connects two uh, diametrically opposed points on a circle so to find the center of the circle we are going to use the midpoint formula so in this context, with this being x1, y1, and this one being x2, y2, the center of the circle will be at 3 plus 0 over 2, comma, 5 plus negative 5 over 2, which is 3 plus 0 is 3 over 2, and 5 plus negative 5 is 0, which divided by 2 is 0. So that's the point that is the center of the circle. Stage 2, I'm going to now use a distance formula to figure out the diameter. Technically I could use the distance formula to figure out the radius since now I have the center. But because it's a, a fraction, I'm just going to do the full distance. Uh, so the diameter's distance would be, or the diameter's length would be, by the distance formula, x2 minus x1, so 0 minus 3 squared, plus y2 minus y1. So negative 5 minus 5 squared, which would be equal to the square root of negative 3 squared is 9, and negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10, and that squared is 100. So we get the radical of 109. Now remember, that's the diameter. So now, in order to get the radius, I'm going to take that answer and take radical 109, which is the diameter, and divide it by 2. Okay, so now taking those two pieces of information together, we can get the equation of the circle. The circle is going to be x minus the center's x coordinate, which is 3 halves squared, plus y minus 0 squared, and that's going to be equal to the radius squared. So on the top, you'll have a 109, square root of 109 squared, over 2 times 2, which is 4. Now for politeness sake, we usually write x minus 3 halves squared. We typically don't put the minus 0 since that's just y. And then there's the 109 over 4. So that's what I would expect the final answer to be on an exam or something like that in a fully simplified form. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this problem on your own. Imagine the diameter connects negative 2, 2 and 4 comma negative 6. Okay, assuming you gave it a shot here on your own, let's first do the center. The center is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And that's, let's see, negative 2 plus 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. And 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4, divided by 2 is negative 2. So there is the center. Diameter, let's just do it the same way as we did the last time so you have some consistency here. The diameter would be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2, oh, no, sorry, I think I got that backwards, sorry, x2 minus x1, so that'd be 4 minus negative 2 squared plus y2 minus y1, which is negative 6 minus 2 squared. So we're getting a square root of 6 squared plus negative 8 squared. And that's a square root of 36 plus 64. Ah, so the square root of 100, which is 10. So that's convenient. Nice numbers there. <laughs> so final answer for us is going to be x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared the 1 and the 2 come from here and here as the center and that's going to be equal to 100 
as that is the, uh-oh, that's the diameter. Wait a second. Take that diameter and divide it by 2 so I get 5. And then, since that's now my radius is 5, my actual equation will end up being equals to 25 as 5 squared. So be very careful. The diameter is not the radius. You need to take half of the diameter to get the radius.